two is repentance. Okay. The second part that this verse is talking about is repentance. Because remember when we read it in the Passion Translation, that verse said, we are, we are to uh, confess our sin. It actually says believers should confess their sins to God and do it every time God uncovers something. Whenever God is uncovering, we have to confess. OK, we have to confess and ask him to forgive us. We have to confess and ask him to deliver us. We have to confess and ask God to set us free. Confession is made unto salvation. Confession delivers us. Confession brings us out. Amen. And so Acts chapter three, verse 19 from God's word says, so change the way you think and act and turn to God to have your sins removed. We got to change. There's a way that seemed right to us, but the Bible says the end of that way is destruction. The Bible says the end of that leads to destruction. Just because you think it's right don't mean it's right. Is God saying it's right? Come on, talk to me, somebody. Is God saying it, it is right? Or are we just that comfortable that we are saying it's right? Because y'all, let me tell y'all something. There's a lot of stuff that God got a problem with, but we do it because we have justified it. We have literally justified our actions and, and, and basically created a gospel and a, and a God and, and a fabrication of God that don't even exist. We have created a God that is okay with homosexuality. God is not okay. Marriage is between one man and one woman. We have created that there's a million different genders when God said I created man and woman after my own image and my own likeness. We've we've began to do these things that God is displeased with, but we make it seem like it's OK. So God is saying we got to change the way that we think and change the way that we act, because in our flesh, we're against God. And then Jeremiah Jeremiah says that your heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? He said, I, the Lord, try the reins of your heart and I show you who you really are. I show you what's really on the inside of you. You don't know who you really are. I don't know who I really am outside of God showing and revealing that. And so we've got to change the way that we think. It's not OK to go outside dress butt naked. It's not okay. But the Bible said we're supposed to be modest in our apparel. Okay. I'm not going into what you can and cannot wear. That's between you and God, but there's got to be some kind of conviction there. Well, we're not just dressing and wearing any old thing thinking God going to be okay with that. We got to watch where we go, who we interact with. Why would you go sit in the club where everybody drinking and smoking, knowing that God don't want you there? He called you out of darkness. He called you out of darkness into his marvelous, marvelous light. He called you out of those dark, stinky places that smell like beer and pee. He don't want you there. When I went to New Orleans this weekend, I asked my husband to drive me through the French Quarter because I actually wanted to see the strip club that I used to dance at where I got saved. And I wanted to take a picture of the building. For my own memory, I'm believing God that I'm going to be able to go to that strip club and stand up in there and witness and tell people about Jesus. But the, the, the strip club was closed down and they had all this construction against it or whatnot. I'm saying all that to say. When I went down there on Bourbon Street, it smelled like beer and pee and there was a million spirits. I told my husband, I said, hurry up and get me out of here. I can't do this. I can't go because the spirit of God lives in me. I can't bring him anywhere. I can't put anything before my eyes that would grieve the Holy Ghost that's living inside of me. See, the problem is you watch anything you want on TV, forgetting that you got a, a, the spirit of God live on the inside of you. But you just go and watch anything and think it's going to be all right and God going to be OK with that. Keep playing them games. Yeah? Keep playing them games, thinking that it's OK. 